out of nowhere you get to these mountains and suddenly it looks like you're sort of descending into Mars. It's a ribbon of life through the Kalahari Desert. People don't expect these mountains coming down into the river. This uh, strange strip of green but just it's so out of place in the environment. Namibia on one side, South Africa on the other side. Lots of interesting species, interesting geology, good fishing, beautiful. So when guests arrive, we normally spend the first day in camp and we'll get you all sorted. We'll sort through tackle and just make sure that you're all ready to go. And in the morning, we'll have a quick breakfast. We'll load up in the vehicles and off to the river. We'll cook for you. We set up tents for you. It's all taken care of. All you have to worry about is getting into some fish. So fishing off the boats can sometimes take some, some getting used to for anglers, but it really is a huge help. You can position yourself really well, utilize the currents, get into the right position to get into eddies and into seams. The boats help us move to spots where you wouldn't previously be able to fish. You can adjust your positioning on the anchors and utilize wind. On river we have three pack rafts and two oar rigs. The oar rigs have three cooler boxes in them each, which are loaded with the our food for the drift and those three cooler boxes double over as seats for one guide and two clients. In the river a whole bunch of different fish ranging from little tilapia to small and largemouth yellowfish which are our main target species. With the largies you throw in big streamers, lots of craft fur and zonka, they create a lot of movement in the water. It's all about just getting their attention. It's going to be violent most of the time. Very um, sudden and unexpected. Absolutely smoke that fly. That initial take, I think that's what people come for. It's such a savage eat. It's quite easy to have your hand burnt on the take if you're not careful. As it hits, it's just all hell breaks loose and that fish just takes off across the river. It's quite something to see. We have a very professional setup in camp. We want to make the client feel as comfortable as possible, cook them really top quality meals in tough conditions in the heat and the wind. Tonight we're going to be cooking a, a roast lamb on the fire. We cook it for about three hours. We do it with some onion and some carrots and garlic and some spices like pepper and rosemary and chili. Cold drinks, good food, good times, sitting on the fire, good banter. 